And welcome to another episode of Burrito's Revenge. <laughs> In today's episode, we start off here lighting up these caves because we have a uh, an interesting episode today. We're going to build the barn and we need to light up these caves for what we're going to put under our barn. And we're also going to do something a little bit different in today's episode. We're going to actually do a little discussion using some sound clips from Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. And Ground Zero comes on weekdays at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, if in case you're wondering. Um, just go to listen to groundzero.com so you can see where radio station is locally for you. Okay, so let's slide up this down here. And we're going to try to kill any mobs that we see. I already see spider eyes coming towards me over here. And we're going we're gonna to light this up because what we're going to do is we're going to build a barn on the surface. And then under it, we're going to have a little sheep farm. That way we can get all the wool. And I want to make it big enough so we can have all the colors of sheep. That we can have all the colors of the wool. And if you don't know, in Minecraft, we have 16 colors available for us. So let's... Wow, this place is infested down here with zombies and whatnot. All right, let's get rid of you guys real quick. All right, let's continue. Let's do one of these workshop real quick. All right, let's continue lighting this up. And... Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Got a skeleton shooting at me, and I got a baby zombie. I hate baby zombies. And this one, he's wearing chain armor. He's got full on chain link armor. What the heck? Let me. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right, no. Stop hitting me. Ugh. Okay, so I got the barn up. And what I want to do now is I want to play a clip from Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. And this clip is from. May 4th, 2011. The episode was called Mirror Death Ritual of the Illuminati with his guest was Dark Marquise. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this clip real quick and then we'll come back and we'll get this discussion started right here. Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. I don't think there's ever been a time in the history of Ground Zero where in the first hour of my show I'm already freaked out. Seriously, I, I am completely freaked out about this stuff. And uh, 1-800-827-0750 or 503-417-7575. I mean, you look at all the death that's surrounding us. We're celebrating the death of o o Osama bin Laden, and we want to see the pictures. Or do we want to see the pictures? Is that something that we want to see? I mean, do you want to see the pictures to prove that he's dead? I mean, we don't have a body. Habeas corpus, done. We don't have proof of a body. Should we see the body? Would that convince you? I mean, there are some other things going on, and Doc Marquis wants to point out to us about what they're doing with this ritual of death and how it's going to backfire on us. Doc, what else do you got for us? You know, isn't that something? Um, in between the commercial break, I very quickly um, applied Illuminati um, numerology and Gematria to see what Osama's name comes out to be. Right. Um, and numerology comes out to be 13, exactly. And in Gematria, that would come out to be total depravity and rebellion. Okay. So... Because that is... So apropos for Osama bin Laden. Exactly. What about this whole thing about the spelling? They've changed the spelling for some reason. What do you think about that? I'm wondering what do they think they're doing here? You know, it's very odd that all of a sudden they chose um, that letter. You know, I was wondering myself, why are they doing this? You know, until I sat down. And again, I did this, um, I, I actually did this on um, May 1st itself. My, my phone literally was ringing off the hook. I, I, I didn't get any work done that day. I haven't gotten any work done for the last two days because of my phone. But his number comes out um, when we change um, the letter. Um, um, his last name, Laden, and when we change the letter um, from the O to the U, the whole thing um, comes out, if you, if you can believe this or not, to six plus six plus six. Will they change it to Osama instead of Osama? Yep. And I the fact that they're... When, when you apply the difference. And the fact that they're using the, the, the acronym USA, United States of America, how does that look towards the, the, the doubling of the jinn or the jinn uh, coming back at us or the demons focusing on us? Well, the, well, the thing is, as it says, I've warned people in the past, you've got to be careful of certain, as, as, I, as at least a, from an occult perspective. Right. That um, if, if, you, if you're not careful of certain words and phrases, you can actually call something down in your own head. It's true. It's as if, you know, you've just, you know, stepped out and said, okay, let me have it. 
Well, you know, it's interesting. One of these things happen. You know, what's interesting is that not only did they use the words USA for Osama instead of Osama, what was chanted by all these people when uh, he was uh, reportedly killed? USA, USA. It's, a, it's almost as if bring it on. Bring it on. We yeah. want this turmoil. We want this darkness. USA, USA, Usama, Usama, Usama. When that word Osama or Usama, depending on how you use it, calls on the jinn to arrive, the demons to come, uh, the demons of war and the demons of trickery to arrive and to wreak havoc in, in uh, it's just it, it's just frightening. I think. I mean, from what I know about the occult, this seems to be some sort of a, you know, when a witch decides that they want to double back a spell on you, they hold a mirror up to you. And whatever evil or whatever weirdness you put forth, it comes back to get you. Well, you see, in the occult world, there is what's known as the threefold law. What this states is that whatever you put out is going to come back to you three times as great. So, if you're putting out um, um, any type of evil magic, and if you haven't got any type of protection out, you're, you're in major trouble. Now, um, in the Illuminati, I'll tell you right now, anyone, anyone who knows anything about Luciferian witchcraft or what's known as the Luciferian magic, that which is practiced by the Illuminati, they're so demonically protected, nothing is going to come back on them and harm them. Nothing will. These people um, practice the most dangerous of all type of witchcraft. It's known as um, 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 high ceremonial magic or what some call high ceremonial witchcraft. It takes years and years and years just to master one particular ceremony. But I'll guarantee you, if you know what you're doing, some people would say these people can create miracles. It's fantastic. Doc Marquis, my guest tonight on Ground Zero, some fascinating stuff. Like I said, in the first hour of my program, I have never been so freaked out in my life about what's going on with the death ritual of Osama bin Laden being killed twice, according to Doc, killed twice, that this is a proxy ritual for some reason that had to be done on May 1st. Just like Hitler's death, even though Hitler committed suicide on the 30th, they announced it on May 1st. They also announced mission accomplished on May 1st, even though the mission was not accomplished. This is ceremonial magic at its highest, and according to Doc Marquis, part of the Illuminati agenda. Yeah, so that aired about seven years ago, right after we had uh, killed Osama bin Laden back in 2011. And he discussed a lot of stuff in that clip, which was just phenomenal. I mean, everything from numerology to the Luciferian threefold laws and all that stuff, and it was just crazy. And some of the things that it made me think about was something like when he was talking about the changing of the spelling of Osama from O to U, making it, you know, USA, and how we were chanting that once we killed them, you know, when I say we, I mean the American people were chanting USA after that we killed Bin Laden, and how that, that chanting may have been calling a demon or, or some kind of demonic force towards us as a people and and, and we're looking now seven years later and I think about that and I think we did call a demon towards us because I mean we, we call the demons of war and the demons of tri trickery and, and what do we have now in 2018 in this country we have pretty much a war of ourselves we, we, we have the the militarized police state going after its own citizens and, and it's just craziness of what's going on in this country right now and, and, and they might I'm, am i saying that this is something that has brought, been brought back from what this is maybe maybe not i'm not really sure but i mean the evidence is there and that's just something that, that just makes me wonder what have we done and what have they done and by they i mean the elite and the illuminati themselves for us to have this self-destruction against ourselves And if you were paying attention to the video clip, um, uh, you can see I rebuilt this Redstone device twice because I built it backwards the first time I built it. <laughs> anyway, let me show you exactly what I've done here. I got the inside of the barn here all laid out. I got the stuff around here. Um, I've got a Redstone torch here for the Redstone torch key for the hidden entrance to the ender layer of this barn right here. You see, right, let me get down. And there you go. 
And this is the area that we lit up at the beginning of the episode. And let me show you how I get back out of here. We're going to hit this button. And as you can see, it's closed right now. So I can't get out. But as soon as we hit this button, we can get back out. All right. Cool. Well, maybe I can get out. There we go. All right, cool. So now that we're out, and you can see that closes up behind us, and covering the hole. Okay, and the next clip that I want to play for you guys is some of the callers that call into Ground Zero and talk to Clyde and Doc about some of the things that are going on uh, with the death of Osama bin Laden. So let's go to that clip. My guest tonight is Doc Marquis, and we're glad to have him on. We got a lot of calls to get to. Let's go to Mike. Hi, Mike. You're on Ground Zero, quickly. Hi. So, um, you know, I had a quick little thought here. Go ahead. I was watching the news all the time about this uh, phantom we apparently shot, and I was just kind of wondering, you know, they've been talking a lot about this advanced interrogation method, also known as torture, and asking a lot of the American public kind of what their thoughts on it, and the majority of people seem okay with it, but it seems kind of like they're coming across to the American people almost as if they're uh, asking kind of a consensus on what our thoughts on it, as if we're okay with it or not. Right. And... What was your thoughts on that? Like, what do you think they're, they're aiming for with that? Doc, why do you think we're being fortified with the idea of death and torture and we're accepting it as if it's uh, we need it? Um, we're being conditioned. See, we have to be conditioned because they are planning to create another war, and a major war. Now, let's, let's just apply a very quick, a little common sense here. Now, I'm sure people have heard of um, concentration camps, you know, which were demilitarized bases. Um, I've got um, I've got the paperwork from Congress. You know, one congressman explaining why they're there. Um, I've got the bidders' contract. I've got the folders and all this. Now, common sense tells me you don't build concentration camps unless you're planning to start a war. Right. That's common to me, and the and the war is going to happen here in America. It's going to be on our soil. That's right. That's that, I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. I've got all the documentation. I will try to remember to bring all this towards um, um, for the Conspiracy Con 2011. And when you arrive there um, on Friday, Clyde, you look me up. Or if I'm up there, you leave a message because I'm showing up and I've got a lot of things to show you. Fantastic. We're probably going to have a remote there, too. We're trying to work it out with KXL to do a remote directly from that show. Let's go to JB now. Hi, JB. You're on Ground Zero. Hey, uh, yeah, you know, this stuff is really kind of tripping me out. I mean, you know, it seems like the way that these people in our government talk to us is like we're insolent little children, and that they don't really seem to think that we have any idea what's going on, you know, and, it, and it's, uh, I've, I've really turned to God in the last year, and I've been reading it, and I'm like, you know, all this garbage is going down, but I'm glad that I have his saving grace, because... You know, like your doctor ever said, you know, that, that is the only thing that, that can bring anybody comfort in this crazy time. So, like, when do you think that this war might be going down? Like, five years? Well, if I go by um, what I remember of the old conversation I had back in the Illuminati, something major, their planning is going to happen between 2013 and 2018. That is the best that I can remember. Hmm. And that's probably going to coincide with the end of the Mayan calendar in December of 2012. That's the rebuilding point, I think. I think they're going to try and rearrange everything that we've thought. All of our education will change as well. JB, thanks for the call. I think that that's what's going to happen. We'll be re-educated on what it is that we need to know. and They're going to try to change the way we think and well, change the way we see time. Alice Bailey, in her book, The Externalization of the Hierarchy, wrote of a paradigm shift. In other words, um, there's going to be an occult shift. In other words, a, a spiritual change. And it has to be done so we can accept it. From her and from the occult perspective, that would be a demonic one. Now, these two callers that call in here were pretty much what prompted me to want to use these Ground Zero clips in and have this discussion with you guys. Because as the first caller, Mike, talked about was death and torture. And Dark Marquise was talking about how that was just a uh, a conditioning for us as the American people into accepting death and torture. And the conditioning was for a, another war on U.S. soil. Now, this war, I believe, it has been going on. Um, it's not a conventional war, as we may, you know, have come to know as. But a more of a like an underground war against us as American people using the militarized uh, 
police force that we now have in this country. And, and another thing that kind of bothered me was from the second caller, uh, JB said, and he was talking about how I'm uh, about giving us a uh, some kind of a, uh, a timeline, and he came out with. Um, a, a pretty much like a five-year timeline up to 2018, which guess what? We're now in 2018. And if you look back in the last five years of what's been going on in this country, I've seen the war. You've seen, and it's the way of you. You've seen the, the police just taking due process and throwing it out the window. They're, they're not even arresting people anymore. They're just killing them right there in the streets. There's your war. It's the killing of, the, of, of American citizens by this police force. And, and and no one bats an eye about it. We've been, we've been conditioned to accept that and to stir out due process. And, and and that's a major issue in this country that we are having. And we need to to get stand up together and unite together to stop that because that's just it's going to destroy us. And it and it has been destroying us. And if we don't stop that now and stand up with each other to stop that, then I I believe we're heading towards a socialistic society and we're going to go into that that illuminati thing that new world order and we're going to america as we know it will be dead america as we know it back back then five years ago it's definitely changed anyway let me know what you guys think about all this you know just give me some comments below let's keep the discussion going let's talk about this in the comments and, and hopefully we can get some some knowledge spread I do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching Burritos Revenge. Don't forget to listen to Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis every weekday at night. And if you want to listen to this clip, and I do recommend listening to this clip, go to soundcloud.com forward slash ground zero. And hopefully I'll remember to put a link in the description. That way you guys can find this way more easily.